Sammy versus Rashid, a mobility match to remember. Dude, you guys know it's Soda Can, amazing Rashid. Such sun chips, crazy Cammy. But dude, the Rashid is one to look out for. You're going to see crazy setups from him. And look, already started. He's going to go ahead and he goes for the frame kill, tries to get sun chips to hit a button, but doesn't quite get it. And sun chips, I think one of his greatest strengths is his ability to hit confirm any button. And there it is right now. He's doing just that. However, Soda Can pushing Sun Chips. Sun Chips is not in a good space. When you're in the corner, you can't really whip punch, which Sun Chips likes to do. Like and right, Angelo, yeah, you, what's up? Like Angelo, do you know what's going on right now? Because I should... <laughs> but it looks really exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> I do. I wouldn't be commentating if I didn't, Alex. You're here, you're here for the looks. You're here for the looks and the free Chewy bar. Heck yeah, free Chewy bar. <laughs> and Soda Can takes us the first match. It really was Soda Can dictating the pace, which is very unusual because oh, yeah. that comment is normally reserved for Cammy. And does Sunchips, does Sunchips know the matchup that well, or does he just go in? He doesn't give a damn about the matchup. He's like, I'm just playing Cammy the way I play Cammy against everyone. <gasps> Fist of Fury's in the money. He got some money. He got Fist. that money. More like fistful of dollars. Yeah, bunch of dollars. You deserved it. You have good karma. He had a bad stomach flu recently. Oh, so. For real? Yeah, so he's getting better though. Your stomach flu is never fun. I, no. I, I got food poison once. Oh, I I feel for you because I did like last year, and it was a really bad one. It sucked. It the takes... only thing that like the only good thing about a stomach flu is, man, you drop weight real fast. You do, right? <laughs> Just throwing up. Dude, it's crazy. And look, just like that, it's Soda Can. Looking really good right now. It's already the second match. This guy's gonna be hard to stop. Look at him, already baited into a full combo. This guy's going crazy. No one can stop him, especially with that outfit. It's, oh, it's one of the flyest outfits, and it's a great color, matches the stage. Sun Chip looking to match Soda Can's pacing, but he just can't. He's been trapped, oh. in, this, he's been trapped in this corner this entire match. And that was a beautiful bait. It looked like he was going for some type of setup, but he blocks it, and that is the setup, is a bait, and look, this guy is playing on another level. He could possibly take everything. Soda Can is in Sun Chip's head, and Sun Chips just wants to say, get out of my head, Charles. And this is now match point for him. Here it is, going in hard. Wait a minute, he's in the corner now. Finally, but Soda Can <laughs> easily jumps out. Yeah, you can't make it easy for someone like that to jump out, because now you're going to eat all the damage. This is Cammy. Cannon Spike is one of the most reliable anti airs in the game. And I like how you said that. That was hot. It was like an accent a little bit. anti arrows Yeah. <laughs> a Kame. I love it. I'm doing my British accent. I'm Kame. I'm going to spam my yes. level three. And dude, and some shit's looking a lot better now. He's fighting for his life. He doesn't want to. It just seems like players, they just get better as they know they're about to lose. They take a little more risk. They're here to They're here to go in. They should just imagine that they're always about to lose. Well, Maybe think of it like better. this. Um, you're in a situation where if you're doing what you're going to do, you're going to die. So you might as well switch just, it up. Yeah, just go for it. And look at this. I think it's Soda Can. He got the level three. This is it, unless he fucks it up. This is a rare level three for Soda and Can. There it is. Soda Can never uses the level three. He usually does level two. Yeah. But he did it because he saw the kill and Cammy's face plastered on the stream. Easy. Four matches unanswered for and it, Soda Can. And it's great. You see Soda Can at all the tournaments. We've seen him at uh, the one we do at Bay Area Beatdown all the way in uh, Campbell. With uh, Retrofix. Re Retrofix 2 Turbo. So we see him there, he's here, he's all over the place. He just wants games and he loves the competition. Since Whoa, he, he usually plays Marissa. Mongi Sr. just likes the heavy hitters because also he plays Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 1. Well, Zangief has been getting tremendous buffs after this latest patch. He has been advertised as having the second highest win rate according to online statistics. So, oh, so this, this could be big. It could be. This could be a big difference for Zangief now, huh? A very big difference. ECF Mario is also a very solid jury. I had the chance of playing him earlier today. Uh, he molly -whopped me. Really great fundamentals. Oh, but Marky Senior just says F your fundamentals. Yeah, who cares about that when you got damage like this? I'll drive that. Oh, and we love it. Oh, we love to see it. Michelangelo, do you mess with grapplers? I do a little bit, just a little bit. I, I love more zoning and setups, but hey, sometimes grapplers could be fun.
So what do you think would be the appeal of grapplers to some people? The damage and the fear of when I'm in, like, I get to do some crazy mix-ups, and they just look cool. Agreed. Like, blocking is considered your safe space in Street Fighter, and a grappler just violates that area. It, right, because they have command grabs, and you can't even tech, because there's a lot of people that mash tech, but with special grabs, you can't tech those. And the great thing about a special grab is, see, that's a full combo, but the advantage there is you can't drop, you can't drop a grab. And, and also, Mongi Sr. in Grand Blue plays the grappler as well. So he just loves his grapplers. There's something about it. I do think it takes a special kind of someone to play grappler. For gra oh, big chop. Beautiful. Damn. EFC Mario was probably going for the drive rush standing medium. And it has great distance. But also, Zangief standing medium, great distance there too. Dude, is ESFC Mario really going to allow this to happen? He is playing jury. She is considered... Uh, I don't know about any more, but she was considered uh, top two in the game. I mean, she Street is Fighter the fighter six. worth a million dollars. Why is she worth a million dollars? Because she won Capcom Cup. You are right. Wow, that is a cool uh, little saying. That's true. She did win Capcom Cup, so that's the million dollar character. But that was a million dollar blunder right there. Whip and Mongi Scene is going to take her. One more interaction. Spinning pile driver. <laughs> Remember, Zangief is, he might be bad guy, but he is not a bad guy. He's a, he loves his bad girls. Oh, I'll tell you he that is much. a bad girl. Oh, he's here to tame it, though. Dude, look out the distance. You don't think those chops are that far, but no, Bongi gots him. And he's getting him oh. at perfectly spaced. It's like the very tip of the fingers is touching Jury. See right there, I don't, I don't even know the fist connected there. <gasps> oh, he was trying to go for the command grab. Couldn't reach on time, though. I do think Mario might want to look into jumping more. Jumping makes you grab and vulnerable, and if Moggy Senior is grabbing while you're jumping, that's big damage. Here we are. Okay, I like it. Rain makes up. He's placed Moggy Senior into the corner. He's not known for having good defense. And there it is again. Oh my god. But he is burnt out. If there's any time to act, it is now. I think Mario might be looking into a level two. Oh no, he just it's did it. get serious. Savage, savage. And Fist of Fury is a fan because Fist of Fury loves his Zangief. <laughs> what a mark, he says. Mario Senior goes for the splash. Great parry to avoid the wall splat. Mario just... He is on death's door. Zangief makes wants him to say, Dos Vidania, but Margie's, but yes, Mario lands in level three, and we got one more match. Got a little tongue tied there. I like it. You're focused right now, and look at that. Focused on the feet. Whoa, whoa, That's whoa. Don't they have to pay extra for that? I, I think so on OnlyFans, but not here. Just play Street Fighter Six. You got it all day with this costume. I, this is definitely one of the more popular uh, newer costumes for the characters. I wonder why. I do wonder why. Ooh, Remember, beautiful wake up. Yeah, Zangief was plus on that head, but Mario could only all get. Oh, nice. oh dear. Uh, look at that damage. Oh, just outside. Rare miss spacing from Moggy Sr. Now, when Zangief charges that standing heavy, you could drive impact, Jesus. but it does take good timing. Mongi Sr.'s space control is insane. It's insane. The, the way he's just stopping you from coming in. That's all it takes. Yes, dude. And sticking it to our guy. He reps Salinas hard. He's always winning the Street Fighter Six tournaments there. But, whoa. Oh, whoa, there was a pause, hey, but he hey, said hey. my bad. He said my bad, and everybody said, ooh. He but said, what DJ happened? Norb, I think he reps modern and, as hard as YJK reps is, Salinas. This is interesting. DJ Norb usually plays on a hitbox. He's playing on a controller right now. Yeah, I. What's I, this? I did comment on that. Um, what is that? I think what did he, he just say? felt like a controller today. Oh, you just feel like something else today, huh? No, okay. You know, sometimes you want to eat grilled I chicken off the menu. I see you. Okay. We are at losers' quarters. Both of these players will still have one life left, but you really want to lose as late as possible. Yes, Drake Man writes Norb switches, so he's a switch hitter. Like how he switched between Kami and Ryu. And that's one of Norb's greatest weaknesses, in my opinion. He has very hair trigger on his reversals, especially with the modern setting. But he could do stuff like that! 
He could just do one button it's super. option selects. Who cares? But oh, he still got it. DJ Norb. Insane with his modern Ryu. I mean, you got to put respect on modern where it is. People make fun of one button specials. Yeah, well, you got to deal with them. Be a Smash player. Hey, and one button specials, they're going to be in Project L or 2XKO. Yeah, 2XKO. Yes. So they're going to be in that as well. You know, I played Fantasy Strike. That had a lot of one button specials. Oh, too. Fantasy Strike. Dude, that, they tried to make it the simplest game, and it was still fun. It was so fun. I love it. It's one of the most ingenious uh, games I've ever played. You know, Serlin knows his stuff. Norb. Ooh, nice. Great hit confirm off the crouching medium kick. He and just... YJK going to go ahead and slightly bully in. And he goes for. DJ Norb went for a target combo. We don't really see that much with Ryu. But he does it. YJK going to go ahead and oh, open yeah. up DJ Norb. Another throw. Will he throw the spray can? Oh, no. my God. Throw loops for breakfast, baby. Nice, perfect parry, though. That stops people in their track. I love that it it um, it um does less damage, though. That's the, the give and take of it, right? Correct. It's not like Street Fighter 3 where you can just get a full damage combo off of it. Exactly. And, dude, Street Fighter 6 needs so much credit because like the way they thought of all their mechanics made the game so much better the fact that like oh if you walk forward you get drive gauge back quicker like there's different things that so many deep things you can do in this game that makes it that much better oh yeah i agree especially with the drive gauge you get to spend it to make good things better or spend it to make bad things less bad yeah i like how you put that and and even like drive rush uh your next hit is plus four like or an extra four frames of um Plus, Correct. so it's it's really cool just everything about it. And YJK is going to take Norb into the level three, painting a picture with his first match won at Winner's Quarters. Norb needs to find a way to keep YJK off of him, which is a lot easier with Kimberly. However, Norb hasn't been able to build a sustainable offense. Great people's elbow from YJK, splatting down Norb, and we're just gonna have to put the controller down. Big damage coming up. Throw for throw, I like that. Beautiful by Norb. YJK actually didn't react to the drive impact, but he still got the back throw, and now DJ Norb's in trouble. What's he gonna do? He's gonna jump up, get the counter hit, and go ahead, and he's gonna place YJK in the corner. However, he is burnt out. And Norm needs to be careful about throwing a fireball willy-nilly. YJK can teleport and slide underneath it. Right there. That was that, that was going to be a fireball. Oh, my, oh God. my God. YJK set point. Oh, will this be a rare time that DJ Norb goes into losers so early? Overhead from Norb. Finish it. Whoa, misses the standing heavy. And that's going to be another combo for YJK. Izuna drop drops DJ Norb on his skull, picks it up. Overhead does not get him. Oh, damn. Oh, thank you, Spectral Vision, for, for following. Beautiful reaction by DJ Norb. He's still in this. YJK was bringing the heat there. Oh, he, oh, he drops it. He oh, drops no. it. That's very rare. I don't see Norb drop it. No, Norb's not dropping them combos. What the hell? They both have level three. Next combo will take someone out. He, oh, oh, that's it. Oh, oh I caught did. him. I can't believe it. DJ Norb was even shocked. He's all, damn, I actually got it. But you see, look at YJK. You see that little nod? You got yeah, me. Yeah, okay. You got me. However, I got more bar than you in this next round. And here it is. Yeah, so YJK with advantage. Has level three, and he's connecting. Is he just going to go straight for it? Oh, I would do it totally. This is your time. When no, nope. He Next wanted the one. reset. Yep. Ooh. Oh, he got it again. Another that, connection. Next combo should do it. Dance. Another OD uppercut from Norb. norb it got to be careful. DJ what? Norb doesn't want the pressure. He keeps waking up, and it's working for him. I mean, the best part of waking up is not taking damage and Folgers in your cup. Oh, I was about to say it, dude. You read my mind. Good stuff. Oh, will this be a great comeback for DJ Norb? This looks like it. it oh, he drops like it. it, but it doesn't matter. He drops. got it. He got him. Madhouse DJ. He's mad DJ Norb now. However, Moggy Sr. has brought out Zangief, who we haven't seen at all here. 
and this is it. We get to enjoy this match now. TreeWiz with the infamous E Honda. Mongi Sr. with Zangief. He read those patch notes and he said, I like this. I like this. I like being able to OD Lariat to level three. Thank you very much, Capcom. Great combo from TreeWiz. Be mindful of when TreeWiz goes for the Sumo Spirit, that's going to allow him to link his longest combos. Right there. Zangief Ooh. couldn't really do anything to get in and interrupt it. Great call from TreeWiz. Beautiful. Get in that jump in. I like it right now. Playing the air game and he got in. He got the jump in full combo. That was some damage. Holy shit. Actually, when Z Zangief has some really good buttons wow. in the air, yeah. uh, jumping medium kick and the splash, uh, it's so easy to tag someone. Great hit confirmed by uh, Mongi Sr. as well that last round, but now Tree Wiz is the one hit confirming. Another sumo spirit for Tree Wiz. Dude, Mongi Sr. not even allowing Tree Wiz to do anything. Tree Wiz getting a little frustrated yeah, uh, in real life. I, I see. Honda right lift his leg and he got hit right in the sumo spirit. Dude, Tree Wiz trying to figure something, a way to stop Mongi Sr. Mongi Sr. running a train on him right now, though. He Tr just went for it. No! Oh, doesn't work out for him. Gets hit with the Tree Wiz special. The neutral jump uh, fierce has brought him many victories, and this is going to be one of them. It's bad for Mongi Sr. Close to the bar, to the corner. No super. This is going to be him. Great turnaround from Tree Wiz. Dude, the the way TreeWiz adapts is insane. And we're in winner's semis. This is to get to winner's finals. And I'm assuming against Julio. I haven't even looked, but you know he's the favorite. Always. We know. We can it's, bet good money yeah. that Julio is somewhere near the top he, of winners. He's been getting upset a little more lately, though, now, right? And, that, and to Julio's credit, he's loving it. As he says, man, now I got to work. Yeah. He, yes, you're right. Dude, you exactly did. That was a great uh, expression. What is it, expression or uh, impression. impression? There you go. That was a great impression of Julio. He exactly says that. I gotta I'm... go to work up, but you know, I liked it. <laughs> Man, now oh, I'm starting to feel it, yeah. Even his voice. <laughs> uh, actually, to be fair, that's me impersonating Tree Wiz impersonating Julio. Oh, I would love to see Tree Wiz's impersonation. Uh, it, it's pretty spot on. Tree Wiz with the early victory against Moggy Senior, he found a way to get around Moggy Senior's grabs, especially using the jump and vulnerability. Rewiz rarely goes for that kick. Uh, he usually cancels it in a grab, but he went for the whole thing that time. He's been using it a lot more thanks to the patch notes, especially to try to get uh, to plant the opponent down for uh, Sumo Spirit. Oh Your my man god. Man throw from Tree Wiz himself. Magi Sr. is on the receiving end, using the standing fierce to try to muscle in on a e Honda. Dude, this is all Tree Wiz now. Oh, nice, beautiful jump. He does not want to get command grabbed at all. Mongi Sr. needs to see that, and he just needs to start going for just hits. He knows he's in a jump. Just keep hitting. Don't go for a lot of command grabs in this matchup. Seems like Treewiz will just jump out of him. Treewiz has been doing a great job jumping out of him. Mongi Sr. try to go for standing heavy, but Torpedo takes it, and we are now at match point for Treewiz. Already? This is winner semi, so we're not doing first of threes just yet. Only that first of threes only saved for finals. The setup again. That's what I'm talking about. Free Wiz, once he has buff, he's going to get some really long punishing combos. Into the level three, the second level three of this match. Tree Wiz landing at Moggy Senior, all kinds of bad. And Blue Square has resubscribed. Thank you very much. Yeah, shout out to RX Blue Square. He's the man. Moggy Senior not landing anything on Tree Wiz. This is, this is textbook Tree Wiz offense. Damn. Tree Wiz moving on. And Tree Wiz figured something out. He figured out. He he saw into the code. Yeah. I love it. The glass cannon of more of Street Fighter. He is. He's he's got too many tools. So let's just take away his health. Very nice. Charges it up. Oh, that hurt Julio bad. Oh, Julio, I think, has the answers for Akuma, though. Akuma has a very little health, so this is going to hurt. Look how much he gets hurt. That means that Norb has to make less mistakes, so when he gets those locked OD Shoryukens, it's going to hurt even more. Dude. And I like the classic costume on Akuma. That's the one to go with, but I don't know if we unlock that one. 
when you say unlock as in open Buy. your wallet. Yeah, you gotta unlock that. No, oh, this is all Julio Fuentes right now. He's looking really good. This guy is sexy. Julio Fuentes has fought a number of Shotos throughout his career. So what's an Akuma to him? Dude, he's like, if he was in a boy band, he'd be uh, J uh, Justin Timberlake. Wait, Julio or he's JP? A heart Julio, he's a heartthrob. Oh my god, I can just see it now. <laughs> Wait. He'd be like, I want it that way. Yeah. <laughs> you get All it. All I ever wanted. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Wait, All was that Backstreet Boys? Oh, yeah. Because I insane. want you. Oh, you're right. That was like oh, one wait, of their wait. first the songs. Back, the Backstreet Fighter Boys. Dude, uh, Backstreet Fighter Boys. Okay, yeah, I like yeah. that. Tell me why. Ain't nothing, nothing but your drive cage. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why that losing only makes me rage. Tell me why. Why can't I break in? Oh, I lost it. Damn it. I want <laughs> that. This is right. karaoke for free. If you like the singing, please drop a note description to Madhouse. Come on. But Norb is crazy. He's looking still good. He's out there with Akuma trying to do things. Dude, Julio Fuentes is still up in life though. Gets the hit. They meet in the in the circle, and Julio's the one that gets the hit. He has great reaction still at his age. He's only in his 30s. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, trust. When I was hanging out, when I was like 26, I'd get made fun of by like young 20 year olds. They're like, oh, your reactions are done. That's it. 26 years old. I'm like, shut the hell up. That's not how it goes. Or finally finding a way to battle back. He's trying to put some pressure into Julio. This nice. Will, this, no, doesn't get the combo, but gets but the throw. American reset. Why not? American reset. Okay. American tick throw. DJ Norb. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was such a great reaction. Oh, that's, that's, that's what, worth a clip. Oh, shit. That, that, that's, what looked like, that's what Akuma looked like he was going to say right there. Oh, damn it. His face was like in a shadow too. He was like, uh oh. Remember Street Fighter 4 when you land the supers and the characters the would face. be. Their face was like, oh. It was. That looked cool. And it made you think that you were going to land it, but not really. Oh, look at this. Julio's on fire for Jesus right now. Into the teleport. Nice. DJ Norby has the answer. Julio fires right back, though. Oof. He tried going for the grab. Julio's not going to stand around and let you do shit like that. Got to see that Julio has been keeping optimal spacing. He's been able to whip punish all of DJ Norm's attempts at throwing normals and jumping because he can just move a little bit and open them up. And Julio, an uh, easy, easy two games for him. His jury will kill you. Yeah, we're all hanging out in here because there's air conditioning, I guess. Thank you. Record-breaking heat this uh, this week so far. Oh, and look, a pink DS light is actually challenging Chump Slayer in some things, and he loves his Kimberly. Look at this, okay. Some things Chump Slayer hasn't seen yet. Dude. We don't have too many Kimberlies in the circuit, and already Chump Slayer is burnt out in the corner. And look, YJK is looking on closely to what uh, a pink DS light got. Uh, and, and is uh, Dakota uh, pretend playing the match? Check it out, look, look. Yeah, he's, he's on it, dude. He's feeling it. He's like, yeah, I got this skills. This is, this is like when you, uh, you know the, the, the arcade where it has the demonstration mode and you start Yeah, wanting buttons. to hit buttons. Yeah, yeah, like, oh man, I'm doing this combo. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. And he's like, okay, why am I not moving? Dude, Dakota, you're doing great. You're doing great, man. Look, look at this. Look at this tech. You did it, man. Next Daigo. And here we are. Pink, Pink D DS Light and Chump Slayer tie game right now. These guys are doing great. This is a crazy matchup. It is. I'm surprised we don't see Pink DS Light more often out here. He needs to come out more. He's doing such, such great things. Pink DS Light, I don't know his schedule, but he definitely is one of the stronger Kimberly's as seen right here. Landing level three, getting the move speed and the damage buff. But also, Chump Slayer burns himself out. This is going to be the match. If Pink DS Light does not drop this combo, which will not happen because Commentator's Curse is not a thing. And it's not. Wow. Pink DS Light. Who is this man? He's the killer right now. This is Chump Slayer. I am not used to seeing Chump Slayer be 
uh, taken out like this. Yeah, Chump Slayer's, he's like, no, 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 this is not gonna happen. He's pissed. Yeah, he's PTS pissed. like, get back to college. This is the big boys now. I think Chump Slayer is starting to take a feet, get a feel for what Pink DS Light is doing. Oh yeah. And he's doing a great job right now. Jeez. Pink DS Light using those slides to great effect, but Chump Slayer just crosses them up. Match point for Chump Slayer. Fury is plus off of that standing medium. You want to hit. Oh no, this is the second time Pink Dance Light got caught holding Barry. Oof. Amazing work. He's trying to make this comeback. Pink Dance Light, he keeps going for the offense. Chump Slayer doesn't know what to do right now. Oh, he does. He has the answer now. He has the answer, but he burned himself out right there, Michelangelo. Yep, used all his resources. Pink DS Light's gonna take full advantage of this. Not necessarily all his resources. He, oh, has, the he has a level three nice, that is still nice. on deck. Great call out. That's going to be a kill. Such a lovely face. Oh, Get out of yeah. here. And this is Chump Slayer we're talking about. I love the hypeness. Alex trying to wake up over here. What are you doing over there, Alex? Yo, How are you feeling? Alex? You're, you're just our standing. Yeah, do you need a tag in? You're here chilling. Yeah. Do, we do got other people if you we need to tag out. No, you got, do what you want to do. You're, you're our beauty queen. You're the one that, you are. And you're here just to, you're the eye candy. You're here for eye candy. Chump Slayer though. Wow. I, I am, I'm 36 now. I'm getting up there. Hey, before that, I just want to draw your attention that we have Chump Slayer <laughs> burnt out. The light bar is even. And Pink DS Light whiffs the hurricane kick. But he has recovered. Jump Slayer misses the corner. Oh, yeah, this is so damn close. Pink Level DS two. Light is possibly the underdog because we see more Chump Slayer at these tournaments. We know what he's about. Pink DS Light, the Kimberly. Oh, the American reset. Yes, it is. That was not no, it was an American. It wasn't. He purposely did he that. Purposely, that was a guaranteed DI. That was not American. Corner. My bad. Set. Match point. Chump Slayer. Oof. Well, I don't know what DS Light was going for, but Chump Slayer did not care. Oh, that was nice by a pink DS Light, though. That was a great setup. Yeah, using the Vagabond edge of the bait to throw. Another bait throw. Does not cash in on the whip, on the punish counter. This is pink DS okay. Light's match. Pink DS Light, this is all tied up. We are on set point for both of these people. Pink DS Light oh, showing shit. us the durability and the resilience of a Nintendo oh, Pro. Okay. Oh my goodness. People are screaming in the background. And we're yes. screaming right here. Oh, he got the hit. He just goes for it. What? He has to. Yes. He needs to use all his resources. To get more drive gauge back. Correct. And get as much damage in as possible. Openings like this are rare, especially against Jump Slayer. Nice. I like the, the frame trap right there. That was really good. Chump Slayer did not bite on it, but that was still great by Pink DS Light. Great blocks by Chump Slayer, though. Chump Slayer, Chump Slayer has level wary. two. Yeah, he better be careful about Ooh, throwing those the whiff normals. punish. The whiff punish. Chump Slayer is good at whiff punishing. Ch Pink DS Light's so close, but I'm really nervous for him. Really nervous for him. Oh, this is going to be an ouchie. It's an ouchie. It's not going to kill him thanks to the scaling. Yeah, no, no, it's not critical art, but here it is. Oh, 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 no! We're alive, we're alive! Oh, and there it is. Pink DS Light. Chump Slayer. Pink DS Light's prospects in the tournament has flatlined. And unfortunately, Chump Slayer is the one wheeling him into the morgue. I like him. Yeah. I gotta say, Dan. Dan. Not in Dan. The game Dude, yet. I want Dan at six. Give me Dan. Oh, Give me Dan Hibiki. Psycho! I hope, I hope Oro eventually makes it in. Oro. Yeah, I like Oro. I'm sorry, I really like him. Yes, he's cool. he's cool. Oro. Yeah. Come on, Oro. We got to see more story with Oro in it too. What happens? Does he finally, you know, ascend Ryu? Because he trains Ryu. Oh, I got a good he, one. What's what Eagle. happened? Eagle. That dang. And, uh, Street Fighter One. Jeez, and CVS Two. He was in as well. Yeah, I, I want I want like an Escrimistic user. Yeah, yeah. I like that that you said a skirma. Not a lot of people know that weapon. Okay, so same vert. Uh, 
Classic Julio Fuentes. See? Even Tree was out. And Tree was going for the big gambit, catching Julio on the parry with the punish counter, taking that match. Dude, see, RX Blue Squared knows what's up. He says Oro is dope. There's people love Oro. One armed, fighting, holding throwing, a turtle. Throwing Come on. trash at you. Yeah, rocks and shit. Like, dude, he has cool loops. Come on. <laughs> That's yeah, how there you like. go. See? You're, you're great at uh, impressions, huh? Apparently, somebody said gotta... I had a decent JP yesterday. Oh, damn. Uh, I'll do it later. Yeah, we'll... we, we surprise us. And here it is, Tree Wiz and Julio. We've seen this match many of times. And right now, dude, Tree Wiz has a round on Julio. He does, but Julio is the master of what I call the Julio reboot, where when he's losing, he just collects himself, oh. adapts, and then just wins. How many times have we seen Julio supposed to win the set? Uh, lose, supposed to lose the set, and he ends up winning it. Like, he, ra last round, he picks it up. So many times. Uh, the analogy he likes to use is it's like fighting a JRPG boss and they go into their second form like, oh, that's the move. Uh. <laughs> exactly. I'm just, doing, I'm just doing my shitty Julio impression all night. No, it's, I love it, though. And thank you, RX Blue Square, for the resub. Dude, no. RX Blue Square has been subscribed to us for 14 months. 14 months. That's a year and uh, some change. Two months. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you, RX Blue Square. Damn. One six, two months. One six of a year. Jeez. That is crazy to think about. Here Ruiz it is. Doesn't have the life. Beautiful lead, anti. -air. But those land enough of those headbutts, and you will make that lead back. Oh, right into perfect parry. He Got a lot of damage, yeah. but it's gonna send Julio right to the corner. Oh! oh! Julio Fuentes. He has level three. You know he's gonna use it. There it is, no Care escape. To, to, care to tell how this ends? Okay, you're a flirt. I like it. That's my <laughs> JP. I like it. Meaningless effort. Yes, you got it a little bit. I got it, I got you it. You got a taste. There's, 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 a, there's a smidge of that. Yeah. Dang, RX Blue Square, I'm taking my sub to the grave. All right, Square. Wait, why don't you just take your sub to the water? Why take it in dirt? It's a water device, duh. Oof. Are you sure you're talking about the right sub, though? That's the chip. Yo, Spoon's in the chat right now, too. You know, it could be a sub from I think Spoon's way. got left by, uh, what's his name? Because Spoon's did the Gal theme Nerd song. in the Bay? Yep, because he did the Gal theme song. No, wasn't it? Um, it wasn't, I don't think it was Nerd in the Bay. I thought it was, he came with someone else. Who usually comes with Nerd in the Bay? Oh, that's who it is? Okay, okay. Julio Fuentes. This is the, this is the Julio re reboot I'm talking about. He was losing, but he finds a way to just carve out a decisive victory. These fighters know each other so well. Jeez. Tree Wiz has to find ways to just outthink Julio and out anticipate him and do something extremely gutsy. And then Julio's the one with guts right now. Yes. He's beating them guts. You know who wants to beat their, uh, beat guts like that? Who? Griffin. Griffin? Oh, good dude. Griffin's a wild one in Berserk. Jesus. Watch a lot of anime. Be knowledgeable about these kinds of. Oh, or, or read manga. Or be just be knowledgeable as a zeitgeist. Yeah. This yeah. is gonna be. This is looking to be an another decisive victory for Julio, unless True Wiz pulls something out. Unless he gets the special salt. Level two from Julio. And Julio Fuentes. It's first of three, though, because this is winner's finals. That man, dude, what could stop him? Uh, a gun? It's rare to see. And Dude, where's LPN been, actually? We haven't seen him at a lot of locals. No. Well, he's probably but getting ready for EVA. I miss him. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows what's up with that. Come on. I think uh, when it comes to doing... When you're doing an important event, there's two schools of thought. You either train, train, train really hard, or you don't train and just rest. Yeah. There's always that. Michelangelo, are yeah. you the kind of person with pictures of cute anime girls all over your room? No. Nope. That is I definitely would... a question to ask. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not someone that would do that. Yeah, he, uh, he's got his... Nice, I got my lady. You got Yeah, he's got the real one. I got a, I got a real one. Atlanta just whispered, quit lying, Michael. <laughs> Atlanta, you troll. You dirty man. No, so you prefer 3D over 2D. No, I guess 4D. 
What is it? This? Oh! The wrist! This is a nice one! Dude! We are at yeah? set... You savage. We're at set point with Julio <laughs> Fuentes right now. If he defeats Tree Wiz, he will be in Grand Finals in the winner position. And the, which is like saying water is wet. I, I love Captain No Fun, your reaction to everything going on right now. It's all overwhelming. And you're just like, God damn it. Yeah, someone has to call the match here. Yeah, right? Yeah, Shit. see, see y'all have your tangent. I'm being no fun. I'm business. You're about business. business. I like that. No, Captain that's, No Fun. That's how it is. Someone has to. Oh, Roxas, thank you so much, dude. Good to see you, like always. Now we have Julio Fuentes it, on set point. This is very close, but dude, Tree was. It seems Julio figured out the uh, matchup. When I was talking to Julio outside of like the the land, um, the locals, he was like, dude, E Honda's a lot better, and Tree Wiz is getting a lot better too. <gasps> the amnesia. Is, but Julio always finds a way to adapt and get better himself, and this is JP we're talking about, nice one of setup. the most privileged fighters in Street Fighter. Oh! oh! That was nice. He had to use it. He had to use that. A tree was just shaking his head, but I don't know why. I, he did want to save it for the last one. He wanted round. to save it, or he probably realized he could have used a level two. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Dude, that's a good call. Nice nice look. Yeah, you could at least save it. Like, you have a level one, right? Every little sliver counts. Anything. A tree Wiz is realizing that he he could have used that meter. The only saving grace is both him and Julio Whoa. are at zero. He's picking it up right now. Tree was looking really good. He's on the offense. Wait a minute, Julio slipped in. Oh, he got no. the oh my god, the beautiful whiff punish. Julio Fuentes. I love the combo. It's good. He doesn't use the level one to finish it off. He's probably holding that as a reserve for more damage or a reversal. And he's gonna send Tree Wiz right back into the corner. This is what we want to see, Tree Wiz. Get back in the game. Oh, but Julio no. says game time. Julio's not over. allowing. We still believe in Tree Wiz. Oh, we Do got not it? give up, damn it. Come on, Tree Wiz. This is what warriors are made of. He's burnt out and everything Ducks. against the zoner. Ducks. But he jumped in. Julio though. There it is. <clears throat> Julio said, put that sweater back on. I don't yeah, we're thankful for you. <laughs> you missed 357 versus Mario. This is going to be a classic matchup of movement. Who can get the whiff punish and who can abuse their crouchy medium kick more? Chun Li versus Jury. Oh, yeah. And you know, when there's a Chun Li player, they play more of like a footsie game. It's like a lot of neutral. They're, they're anti airing you. Oh, he tried to anti air? But that was great! Yeah. Great by Mario. Chun-Li, who plays the footsie game really well, versus Juri, whose gamers just like her feet, period. Yeah, right? I'm surprised Chun-Li doesn't have one where she has no shoes on. Well, it's because people like her thighs more. It's the thigh thing. That's what it is. But uh, I got to say, you know, us old school Street Fighter fans, I bet you there were so many people of our generation whose first crush was Chun-Li. You could say that, yeah. And then Cammy came and started showing that ass. <laughs> that was her win pose. That was, was her. like, look, this is a thong. Before the thong song even came on. Okay, Cisco. She was like, this is the thong song right here. And you're like, I just want to win with Cammy. And when you were against Cammy, you're like, I just want Cammy to win. Even like if this. I lose, I feel like a winner. Yeah, like they really put it out there. That was insane. Yim is using the level two to get the nice combo out there. Mario stuck in the corner, and Yim is gonna keep him in the corner. Also, like I like to play a game when someone walks in here holding a bag and try to guess what the food is inside. Oh, it's never bad food. It's there's, always something tasty. There's never bad. There's no bad food here. Hey, now that I'm trying to think of it, yeah, who's gotten some food from outside? And, like, I was actually thinking, oh, this that's terrible. No. Nah. We're living in America. This is a great country to just have any type of food. Multiculturalism, baby. Yeah, we love it, man. We're so lucky. Ooh. I would say, <laughs> yeah, that's one. I, I would say some type of Korean barbecue. Nah, it was too small for that. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're not taking Korean barbecue in here. You know, that, you that, know, that, that, that sit down food. You know, my best on a donut. Like, one donut. Damn, okay, just one, huh? And look at this. 
Dude, you minutes. Perfect KO. You minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, this is this is losers round six. Oh no, Captain No Fun, your favorite commentator has just exited. Hey. Damn it. Oh. Dude, he's pointing. He, he said, get on here. No, there's an opening. There's no, an opening. No, you, you, it's no, doing I, the thing where you, see, know, where you see a guy on the dance floor, know, like, you gotta I, do the thing. I know kick punch, it's all in the mind. I know for after the rapper over here. I, I, I recognize that orange beanie. Look, guys. Parappa the Rapper has joined us on the mic. Last appearance, I think, was PlayStation All-Stars. It was. Was it not? And I picked him. I loved his combos. Welcome to the Madhouse uh, commentary couch. It is very cramped here. Well, <laughs> I, think I, I say as the biggest person on the couch. Mission accomplished. It, it is. We're chilling. It's like still a nice long couch, though. We try to, you know... For some weird reason. Okay, uh, I just want to real quick put it up to Yumis. He's doing a great job keeping Mario in the corner. Drive impact, gets the wall splat. This is going to be his match. It's all Yumis. This is. I oh, drive impact for drive impact. Dude, Yumis came out of nowhere with the Chung Lee. Who is that man? I never seen him here. To do that to a jury? Jeez. Especially against Chump Slayer, who's hyper aggressive, and a lot of Yuri's moves can shut down Zangief's offense. Dude, and we're coming down to the wire. These are the the greats that are playing now. The, in NorCal, the ones you mostly see up there in the top eights. So it's going to be nothing but solid play. We are at losers' quarters. We only need to have two games won. Chump Slayer being a little bit more cautious. He's probably worried about Moggy Senior grabbing one of his limbs. And there it is. Look at this. Right now. It's all Chump Slayer on Mongi Senior. I think Chump Slayer's figured out Mongi Senior is a killer in the neutral. And he, he's great at space control. So he just got to keep rushing him down and going crazy on him. Invade that space, but Mongi Senior, I smell a. Oh, I don't smell his command. Beautiful throw. block. Gets the hard knockdown, throws the head. Nice meaty, too. And look at this, Mongi Senior DDTing his way to victory. It really seemed like that was Chump Slayer's match, but Mongi Senior just slowly. Yeah, oh, forward yeah, that's how he does it. This is this is Mongi Senior we're talking about, man. He will make you kill yourself. Doki, what's your experience fighting Zangief? Uh, not good. After the balance patch, uh, Zangief vs. DJ is not fun anymore. It is no longer fun. Oh shit! And look at this. Right now, Chumps are working Mongi Senior, but Mongi Senior just takes full advantage, putting Chump Slayer into the corner. This he cannot breathe. This is the last place you want to be when you're fighting a grappler. They could just throw you to their heart's content. And beautiful by Chump Slayer into level three. He wants to guarantee the round. Why not? Let's go to the next one. But dude, Mongi Senior has a big advantage now. He has three bars a meter in the final uh, round of this, this match. And he's been known to just throw out a level three instantly. Oh yeah, and he finds his way to get the level threes too. Chump Slayer, he's going to keep his foot on the gas. He does not want Moggy Senior to get out of the gate. And notice him using those back dashes to get out of the way of his pokes. Moggy Senior wants to play an honest grapple game, and Chump Slayer says, nah. Okay. Good pressure so far. No! Oh! The reactions loyal by fans, Moggy. Loyal fans, loyal fans. Oh, he's doing it. He's using it all. That was smart, too, because he was almost at a drive gauge. He, he has a little bit of drive up. gauge. And look, Chump Slayer, he has half a bar of drive gauge. Big trouble right now. In Little China. Oh! Moggy Senior catches the overhead. Oh, that was a whip punch if I ever saw one. Dude! Now he just needs one special move to chip out. And he doesn't need it because he got the match anyways. We also have to remember that Zangief is not good at chipping out. What can he really throw that does chip damage? That's the, I was just thinking that grapplers, they have a harder time because they can get the chip once once it, someone's burnt out. But can they really? They don't really have moves like that to get the chip. Manon maybe with her, like, uh, her little ballerina kick? It's tough, man. It's very tough. Hey, Nerd of the Bay, what did you grab? 
Bamboo. Oh, was it from the car? Uh, dude, gas it's station, gas station food. Come on, gas station food. Why not? Beautiful block. It's negative eight, but he didn't get it. But anyways, he got like a little combo anyway. All right. Oh damn, Chump Slayer's burnt out. Remember, this is the only first to two because we're in losers' quarters still. Magus Senior needs to just win oh, one more game. Oh, he tried game. to anti. Great dive kick, level Beautiful. two for Chump Slayer. Beautiful, going for level two. He didn't need to use level two, but I he still used it. I felt like he could have used a level one yeah, there. Yeah, he. I don't think he hit confirmed it because he just went off of straight up getting the hit, and he was just like, I don't care if it, if he blocks it or get or it hits him, it, I'm still gonna activate. DDT from Moggy Senior to Chump Slayer. Chump Slayer, you gotta be careful when you hold that parry out, especially against a grappler. Dude, Chump Slayer's in big trouble right now. Low lead, low life lead, but Moggy, no drive game. For my loyal fans, Senior, and it looks like he's he's getting that burnout back. He's getting it back. This is big. Oh. He doesn't even need it. Lance Jury into the soil and that was amazing but now chump slayer has one one bar of super bongi with no bar of super now he's and still in Ooh. jury's level one infinitely better than zangief's level one yeah beautiful reaction by chump slayer he's backing off he wants to go for some zoning he wants to make a uh, mongi senior impatient but mongi senior doesn't get impatient <gasps> this is this is a punish this was bad I don't think Chump Slayer wanted to do that. I, I think so he did, but Moggy Senior was just being patient, as you said. He's burnt out. That's what I, I hear, oh God, from the audience, and that's how you feel like when Zangief is slowly looking towards you, um, lad. <laughs> One more big meaty move from Zangief will send Chump Slayer out of this tournament. Oh, DDT! Damn. Mongi Sr. Great stuff. And look, Mongi Sr., oh, he rarely has a smile. He actually smiled there. I like that. Mongi Sr. definitely showing his favoritism towards big grappler characters with large life pools. He was able to take Chump Slayer's offense and dish it out three times harder. Fighter waifus. Norb trying to go for a back fist, but Yemen says not today. And Norb just forces his way in. Yemen's just got to hold that. Great damage from Norb. He's not stopping. To quote Michelangelo, he's going in. He's going in. He's in it. I like your impression of me. That's hot. That got me hot and bothered. Oh, wait. I, 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 could, I could do it longer. Wait, let me, let me channel it. And Norm, Norm's got it, but no, Yemis, just with the level one, he's just letting it rip. It's just, this is great. This is some of the best Street Fighter. They got it. <laughs> it's got such, such great combat. It's such great combat. <laughs> yes, that was spot on. I got this in stereo now, this is great. <laughs> Chad, how'd I do? How'd I do? How'd I do? I just want to know. They made him excited. This Nor is great combat. Oh my god. Yeah, we're he's loving it. He's reversing it. First day, Michelangelo. <laughs> oh my god. Mike, Michael Seption here, baby. And Roxas knows what's up. This is the best Tanya in NorCal. Um, uh, wait, do they have it? No, uh, never mind. It was It was not. <laughs> no, never mind. I was When you were talking about freaking. Um, freaking. Uh, oh my god. I'm drawing a blank right now. I think we're uh, that comment was for the previous match. But yeah, Jimenez okay. and DJ Norb. Jimenez came out of nowhere. We don't see. I think this is the first time Jimenez. He's from Livermore, dude. Oh, so yeah, Livermore. Yeah, Nerd in the Bay is feeding us some precious information. Jimenez is from Livermore, but so he's the killer of Livermore. Norb is just saying you are no more with that yeah. level three. I like how DJ Norb, you don't know who he mains. It's either Kami or Ryu. So it's whoever he's feeling. Point. Yeah. And nice. Beautiful. Oh, I love the side switch. That was some Sal Pacino stuff right there, if I do say so myself. Shout out to Sal Pacino. I haven't seen him in a while, too. Oh, shimmy. The shimmy. He got it. Okay. Crouchy medium allows humans to bust out of the corner and Norb just throws him again. Damn, Dor Norb is so cool, calm, and collected. That's scary for a modern player to be that. It's, oh. 
And here we are, DJ Norb, it's round two. Dude, is it gonna go by this quick? Jimenez, Livermore Man. Oh, that's a superhero if I want to see one. Livermore Man! <laughs> yes. And then sidekick the Fresno Fighter. Yeah, damn. You, quick thinking, very quick thinking. Oh no, it's Super Salinas. What about Slutty San Jose? Slutty San Jose. <laughs> No, that's Sacramento. Oh. No, it's the Sacramento slut. There we go. Stockton. <laughs> that's, no, that's the name. It's just Stockton. <laughs> Stockton. That's, yeah, that's the name. That's, they're, they're scary out there. Norb getting the easy air combo into the level three. Yim is, I'm sorry. Liver more is liver no more. And DJ Norb is the winner. It's gonna be crazy. Doki is in between, is in an idiot sandwich right now. Yeah, he's like, uh oh. I thought I was gonna do some serious commentary. These two idiots are making up dumb names about Fresno and shit. <laughs> yeah, but I've known you for go. nine years. I knew, I knew what I was getting into when I got, when I got on this couch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he knew. He accepted his fate. He has his jock strap on. You gotta believe. Yes, believe. You gotta do what? You gotta believe. Norm is trying desperately to keep Moggy Senior away, but Moggy Senior using those classic yeah. Street Fighter knowledge to just keep him close. And it's crazy because Moggy Senior doesn't come out like, like a lot, but when he does make his appearances, it's amazing. Yeah, he is. He makes his presence known. I always like to ask players like that. Where, where, where do you get your training? Is it just like player matches online? Do you just play ranked? Usually it's not ranked though. It's usually they're inviting a sp specific player and labbing. But yeah, it's all in good fun. Norb powered him up. Great sure you can onto Magi Senior. Life is about even. Norb going to just oh went for the drive rush overhead and Magi Senior catches him. Nice. Dude. Overhead this time. Oh. Into the OD. Smart to do the OD because it did that extra hit to get the kill. I'm a big fan of that. Using the OD to just put your opponent down for good. Nice perfect parry. Not a lot of damage. Just because no, of the perfect parry. No, but that is psychic damage. Dude, people are starting to yell over there at them. That'd yeah, be they're, intense. They're, they're playing Tekken over there. Oh, beautiful tech on the grab. <gasps> the miss, but it, that was a great exchange for Mongi Sr. Zangief's target combo chops can only be activated on counter hit, but they do a lot of damage. Double axe kick. Nice reactions. DJ Norb has it in the bag right now. And Zangief feeling it right now as he takes a show you get to the solar plexus. A few more like that, and he's going to be in a body bag. Oh, Ooh. the neutral jump, Moggy Senior. Neutral jump works so well in this game. Especially with Zangief's splash. It covers so much surface area. Watch out, Moggy Senior has critical art. When is he going to use it? This will be death. But he, I don't think he's going to use he it, He doesn't want to use it now. Because he needs another round, at least. Ooh. Oh, oh. Great tech. Moggy Senior wants to catch Norb, especially when he throws out that sidekick. Oh, my gosh. Mongi Senior, they're both in the default costume. Oh, oh. Nor, I keep talking about it. This is the story of Norv and his modern controls. His Soryukids are on a hair trigger. Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you, DJ, DJ Hat. Thank you so much for the follow. No, actually the sub. Thank you for the sub. DJ Crab Hat, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Two drive rushes, but Zangief oh, Norb yeah. catches the charge fierce punch with the drive impact. Perfect counter. And Smoggy just gets it back with another target combo. Oh yeah, Moggy's still on that level three. He's been saving it. This is baby right now. He's a big bear that has two little baby cubs. Three actually, and he's saving all three of them. He wants to show it for his loyal fans. Norb knows he's sweating. And look, just having the level three, Norb keeps opening up. It's that psychological damage we're talking about. Zangief is just by having a level three. Oh, level two! Nice. Pop that on reaction. 
And there it was. He saved it all for the juice right there. Jack Hammer! Shout outs to Bill Goldberg. Yo, DJ Crab Hat knows what's up. Thanks, first time chat. Uh, big ups, Cartridge Cartel. They love Cartridge Cartel. Yeah, we couldn't do it without John here at Cartridge Cartel. He's a great dude and just uh, kills it. Norb going to Akuma. This didn't work with him before against Julio. I shudder to see the damage that Geep will get on him. That is some scary stuff, but DJ Norb's actually doing it. And we love always to see the new characters in action. That's how it should be. Another grapple. He's beating DJ, uh, he's beating Magi Senior to the punch. Oh, really badly too. Look at this, DJ, whoa! That is a glass cannon for you. Oh yeah, but luckily this glass cannon is more cannon than glass. Right now. Let's see in this round. Oh, Moggy Senior is pissed. So who builds a cannon out of glass? Some cocky SOB. Who wants a whole lot of shrapnel? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, on your side. Okay, Moggy Senior playing a lot more patient, making it harder for Norb to get in. And look at this. It's all Moggy Senior right now. He burnt himself out though, but he doesn't care. He barely had to hit Akuma so, uh, a few times just because of the low life pull. Yep. Mongi Sr. both are hot right now. And that was the glass part of the cannon, as you've seen that round. Oh, the grab. He doesn't get a mix after, though. He doesn't want the mix. He knows that Mongi Sr. could just do a level three and delete three fourths of his life. Yep. And dude, look, double OD uh, Sharyuken. You can see that Akuma, Norb is just understanding the calculations. Nice duck. That was a high, a double high by Akuma. And Magi just, oh! I get a little scared when he holds parry a little bit too long. Damn, Magi has all the right answers right now. No, that's what? not it! That is not a right answer. Oh, but he missed. It wasn't a big enough punish. Because no. of the fireball. Yep. He still has a chance. He has an opportunity. This is to get to Losers Finals. Whoa! Tried to grab twice there and finally got it. Ooh, nice chop. Didn't get the counter. No! Oh, the Raging Demon. R no, it's not the Raging Demon. It's just a fist in the face. <laughs> That's all he needs. Oh, you ever get punched in the skull like that? You don't want to. And here we are. This is set point to move on. This is interesting. DJ Norb went with Akuma. And it's doing great for him. Magi Senior is just not able to, is having a hard time dealing with the air fireball and the teleport. Damn, he is running all over Mongi. I don't think Mongi was ready for this. Especially the command throw. Akuma has landed more command throws than Zenki. Okay, Mongi's in, and look at the damage. That is nearly half his life gone. And this is even more gone. Jesus! Ah! What? The what happened? The tables have turned. Oh! Oh, damn. Mongi Sr. smiling. He's loving it. The crowd is going wild, too. Yep, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Mongi is on set point. This is to move on to Losers Finals, where everything from here on out will be first to three. Big miss. Oh, two Mongi. big whips from both them. Love how the crowd looks on. Dakota, Loki, Flexen, they're all such serious right now. This is a very serious match. Big jumping from Magi Senior. Level three. Yep. He combos Connected. into an oh, old Oh, big Akuma. trouble. How much life will Akuma lose? Big damage. This ah. much. What's, what's it going to be uh, for DJ Norf? It's not looking too good for him. Mongi's feeling himself. He knows he can could, he could have the time just run out. Is DJ Norf at bit. the end of his set? <gasps> he just no, did it. He's going for it. No! Yeah, he knew. He knew. <laughs> and there it is. Mongi Sr. moving on. Guaranteed third place. And he's in the money.
Hey, you know what? I respect that decision from DJ Norm. I wanted to see a Raging Demon, okay? Sloppy, and here we are, Losers Finals for three. Zangief. We have a Zangief in Losers Finals Ooh. at Madhouse. What a great day for the Russian. And this is a World Warrior battle. Some of the first characters in Street Fighter 2, Zangief and E Honda. We got two big meaty guys throwing them big meaty palms. Big meaty palms! Ah, g -g 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 yeah, uh, Doki and I said that uh, if we cast the characters of SpongeBob and Street Fighter, that D Honda is Mr. Krabs. Oh, shit. Thank you, was Larry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yep, the lobster, for sure. Observe. Yeah, Who would SpongeBob be? Oh, that's easy. Sandblast! Sandblast! Oh, the Sandblaster himself? And uh, JP was going to be Squidward. Yeah, JP Squidward. Back to the clarinet oh, instead of his stick. Oh, you're right. You're right. He would be, huh? But the, funny, the funniest one was Ken. Who's Ken? Patrick. Really? Is, is Jin Rai neutral? No, Ken. <laughs> Jin Rai is not neutral. I can imagine, like... Dragon Lash is not neutral either. I can imagine Patrick with, like, blonde hair and a, you know... Are you so a red gi. <laughs> Just like, oh my gosh. I'm in it hot. <laughs> and here we are right now. Tree was looking good, but Mongi Senior gets the jump in in the first round. Yeah, thank you, Michelangelo. Let's actually talk about the matches of our stupid SpongeBob Street it's Fighter. It's okay. No, we love day. it. Everyone wants to hear you. What you're saying. It's a, there's no mistakes here. Just it's happy mistakes. That's all it is. Just happy accidents. There you go. We're quoting Bob Ross. There, you, there it is. R.I.P. A legend. Both of these characters have tried to splash in on each other. Both met with parries. Moggy Sr. burns itself out, but gets a great spinning power driver. Nice jump in. Okay. This is all Moggy Sr. right now to do this to Tree was. And is this a is this a run back? Oh! Oh my For my God. loyal fans! That's not a run back, Michelangelo. That's a run through. Ooh. He got ran through. Cheeks and all. Oh my god. No, oh, nice parry. It's not over. Now Good it's over. Things are coming. Yes. You're quoting World Tour, aren't you? Yes, I am. These are the gifts I promise. Nothing is impossible. I watch, I watch that clip every day before I go to the gym. Squeeze every muscle. Push. There. A little bit more. Don't poop your pants. <laughs> that was not from the cutscene. That's the unspoken truth, though. Yeah, yeah. Push those dumbbells. And here we are. Mongi Sr. Good with a perfect. Come to those who trade. Damn. Mongi Sr. He's on a perfect. Oh my god. Is he going to get a double perfect? He's working on it. He's actually working on it. Wow. The pummeling. Okay, finally he gets yeah. the answer. He makes some space. Mongi's in trouble. He's burnt out. A lot of chip is coming his way. Nope. All right. Both players looking so good right now. Tree was just a little better. This isn't going to get his life, uh, get him the life lead, but it's going to get him close. Mongi Senior waiting in that corner, just drive impacted out of nowhere. No reaction from Tree Wiz. Sometimes you're not ready for the drive impact. Yeah, you're thinking of so many things that that slips your mind. Yeah. Playing Street Fighter sometimes feels like you're juggling three balls and a bicycle at the same time. Nice. I can actually do that. You could juggle a bicycle? Well, no, I could be on a bicycle while juggling. <laughs> oh! Nice. Punish counter with the stand heavy. This is Tree Wiz. The gate is open. Throw it! The craziest clutch moments Tree Wiz has is always when he neutral jumps. It's a, yes. It's great. Neutral jump, heavy punch has opened up so many combos for Tree Wiz. And if, if he has buffs, we're seeing that hit counter rise like the stocks. And here we are. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, back and forth they go. Tree Wiz with the, the better of that exchange, putting Mongi into the corner. Mongi though with beautiful parries. Two stop. But, damn, he's being overwhelmed right now. This is Tree Wiz shining. Double dip teriyaki Ooh. stick. How do you like the command grab, sir? Oh, he went for the double, double uh -oh. DR. Here. Damn. Oh! Moggy Senior oh, tried to try to take his turn, and True Wiz says, "Nah, nah, skip card, baby." Yep. But then now does Moggy Senior say reverse? 
At least say reverse, but remember, only one of these people can get out and be the number one or the Uno. Uno. Yes. Uno gets violent. Especially with the wild cards and shit. That's how it goes. Who thought of that game? They were like, I want chaos. I just want chaos. That's it. Just outside of throw range for Moggy Sr. One thing that I love about commentating at Guildhouse, I mean, not Guild, versus commentating at Guildhouse, at Madhouse, is that I get to be in the same room as the players, so every time they yell, I can hear them. It, it, it's a vibe. It's like a, an energy in the room. You feel it. And right now, that energy is going through the players. TreeWiz and Mongi are tied. TreeWiz just took the lead. This Mon is Loser's Finals. Is this best of three? Yes, best of three in Loser's Finals. Same with Grand Finals. Oh my Winner god. Winner face Julio. Julio Fuentes is the favorite of everything. One of the most impressive things about Julio is that he's able to play so dominantly cold. Because he's sitting out for a long time. And I love the frame kill from uh, from TreeWiz right there. That was insane. The beautiful setup. No, Yep, again. You see Moggy Sr. trying to slowly inch his way forward, but TreeWiz is using the drive gauge to just keep bullying his way in. Ooh. And I love to see how this game evolved, where everyone was drive impacting everything. Like, they were countering a drive impact with their drive impact, and now they're not doing it so much because they're focused on other stuff. And it's crazy. A lot oh of people started God, doing yeah, it less. Especially in the lower ranks, where you just use drive impact forever. Like, uh, oh, what's my, what's my answer? Drive impact. You have one speed, and it's drive impact. That's all you need to do. Freewiz with a two-game lead on Moggy Sr. Great this is it. low medium to make some space. Moggy Sr. doesn't want to just get third. Not enough for him. I mean, there's a lot of money on the line here. Yeah, we had, like, what? How many signups did we get? Uh, I want to say 38. 38. That's... And the, basically, whoever wins this tournament gets their Evo ticket paid for. Yeah, because 38, um, if 38 people signed up, that, that would be 380 bucks. In the pool, total, yeah. Yeah, yeah, total pool. And True is planting the seeds of his victory tonight. All he needs is one more round, he takes it. I do think it's quite insane to see such a lead against Moggy Sr. Moggy had a good, good first match. Really good. And now. Did, but this is Street Fighter. It's not about who has the good first match, it's who has the good set. Oh, yeah. 100%. Look at this. Tree was making a huge statement. Stopping Mongi in every bit, in every part of his tracks. The jump Crazy. back punch is doing a great job of keeping Mongi Senior out of the air. And Floppy notices the, the Tree Wiz no, no scratches now. He, that's when Tree Wiz is leveled up. Every no scratch, he levels up a little more. You guys could notice it, I'm telling oh, you. Oh yeah, that's what you, someone said that about him before. Yeah, that, and he's about it. That's his tick, that's his tick. Look oh, at that. Three to Great zero. Stuff. Three whiz. Great stuff from Moggy Senior though. Let's not take anything away from him. He was showing some great fundamental Zangi play. Dude, he did a boost nose scratch right there. It was like ping, 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 ping. Well, he's ping. getting ready for the Julio fight. Yeah, yeah, with the Julio one, he has to do like 50 of them in the but, match. You know, if I... And here we are, Julio and TreeWiz Grand Finals. Thank you for everyone for sticking to us. We broke 50 viewers. That is amazing. Great, dude. Thank, thank you, you guys so much. It's been a privilege to be able to commentate regularly at Madhouse, and I'm hope, happy that, well, I hope everyone listening likes what they hear from us. Hey, we got your back, dude. We're here for you. That's what we want to do, man. We, we see your dedication to commentary. We're going to give you the outlet for it. Quicksilver rights and Tree Wiz appear. That is true. Tree Wiz went slightly inebriated, uh, does some crazy things. He's like Jackie Chan. Oh, the drunken, drunken master. master. Right now, he's doing okay. Uh, Julio, though, he is up in life. He, he only has three bars of drive gauge, though. He's been using his resources. Dude, how, hey. when is it your turn? Nice. He could go through it now. Yes, if you are moving through JP's fireballs fast enough, they will not hit you. That's insane. That's really nice. Great ob uh, observation and great play by TreeWiz. TreeWiz is in the corner. He needs to get the hell out of dodge. Oh, this might be it. This oh, might be the match. It is. One more, one more, one more. He missed. The clap. No. no. Oh. Oh. More 
more more nose scratches, please. I think Tree Wish could have used the level one right there, but he didn't. Oh, here we go, little brother mode, right? Again, tap him up. And here we are. Tree Wish, dude, how patient is Tree Wish right now? Has Wheel in the corner, but just put himself in the corner. Oh no! JP's jumping medium kick is such an abusive jump in. And again, beautiful grab. Both have three bars of super meter. The drive gauge heavily favors Julio. Oh yeah, 100%. He's chilling right now. He's gonna keep Tree Wiz on his toes. Just goes for it, nice. Julio understands that he doesn't need to this... overextend. Yeah. When he doesn't need to overextend, he can react to anything Tree Wiz throws at him. Case in point. Wow, smart by Tree Wiz because he knew he was gonna get burnt out if he didn't parry. Very smart. They're so aware. Couple more hits will burn out, and he's burnt out. Yeah, Tree Wiz burns himself out thinking that he can make some sort of offensive play, but it's just not it. He's overextended himself. Julio has the life lead and the drive gauge lead. Tree Wiz with a Hail Mary level two. The life is even. The life is even. He can take the. No! Perfect parry. Oh, perfect parry. That's Julio for you. Perfect freaking oh. parries. The fact that Julio was able to pull that out in such a clutch moment shows why he constantly wins these tournaments. Cool, calm, and collected Julio doesn't even have a reaction. He's just zoned in. He knows how to defeat a Honda, and he believes he can do it. He's done it many of times. Yes, especially Tree Wiz's Honda. Tree Wiz can only change up his offense so many times. Boggy Senior just asked, uh... He loves Mortal Kombat. He, uh, he He's about it. Street Fighter 4. Now, this is one of the scariest moments in any Street Fighter. When you're in the corner and your opponent slowly moves into their ideal space where they can just do anything to you. Oh, yeah. And look at that. The setup. This is going to be big. Oh, wait a minute. Julio Fuentes, he's back in it. This man is in winners. Oh, oh what? It's not oh, projectile no. mute. It's oh. not projectile mute. That was Beautiful the call, right but Julio was using a projectile. And Julio's already halfway to victory. Three more rounds, he has it in the bag. Damn, I thought they nerfed that kick, but I guess not. Nice reactions by Tree Wiz. He, he does the jump, goes for headbutt, Julio. Trying to stop him in his tracks. Tree was making it really hard right now. He's taking control. Now that Julio is burnt out, this is where Tree Wiz signs. He signs what? What well, sign he, language? Well, he signed the uh, level one. Yeah. I like it. Key to defeating Julio is to get him in burnout and wait for him to use amnesia. And in that case, it's yours as long as you don't get hit. Those by are him. a lot of steps to do against a high level player. That's tough. I mean, at least it's a plan. Yeah, you're right. Every time I've seen Tree Wiz defeat Julio, it's when Julio whips a recovery. Oh, Tree Wiz is burnt out bad. Gets the combo. A couple more hits. Oh, no. <gasps> wait, Tree Wiz. Command throw. Can come back. Julio has drive gauge and meter. Yep, yeah, he dashed, he goes for setup. Oh, oh my. he got his drive gauge back. He wasn't gonna take the chip, but it was just too hard to block. Look at that, good old JP, he doesn't step on them. He was itches a lot. when he's. It's that thing when you get nervous, you kind of itch a little bit. I can't wait to see him at Evo itching. That's gonna be crazy, he's just gonna be itching his whole body. He's gonna rip his clothes off, he's just itching. He's okay, like, oh. what fan fix are you thinking of? <laughs> I don't know. I don't three know. Three or three jizz. Oh, oh, damn. That's that's his uh, his brother, his long lost brother. <laughs> this is not coconut milk. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, see, I could do off color jokes. <laughs> and this this could be the last the last match tonight. This is it, Julio. Set point. Well, it's a. Uh, yeah, he's on the set right now. He is set to take this, and this is going to be one of the oh, wait largest. Wait a minute. You're cursing the players. Great. When Street Fighter Six momentum could shift. Oh, that could have been a throw from Tree Wiz. And, and he Julio gets with caught. the anti-air. 
tournament they, point th yeah. to Julio. Julio looking at that $380 and licking his lips. Yeah. Yeah. You that know. Money. I don't want to work today. Yeah. 350. I thought you said three, three, 38. That's what I kept saying. That's what I kept saying. No, it's but I'm just saying in total. I was saying in total. Like just the, in total signups. Okay. No, I got it. Julio's got a big combo. This could end it. He spends the oh level my three. God. No. Already? To go 3-0, three, three, oh, that's tough. $240 on the line, which is a lot at the Cartridge Cartel. You could buy anything in the store to your heart's content. And you get 20% off. Oh, correct. You could get a Pringle snack right after that, too. The crowd is cheering for TreeWiz. We just want a match. We want this to be competitive. Oh, no. 3 0. 3 0. Oh, no one's hype about that. Look, they're like, oh, fuck Everyone's it. Everyone's tall. Julio Damn. stands tall. Your yeah. champion. The beast. Of Cartridge Cartel. He's a beast. The one, the only, only Julio Fuentes. The Madhouse, the Madhouse men. Are we gonna are we gonna do a sign-off or what? Oh, oh, Atlanta's trapped everyone. He said hold it down for a minute. How'd you get here, Alec? Go? By yourself? Can I go back? Yeah, I need to ride back. I need to go a little bit. If that's okay. Okay. Let me know when you're gonna bounce. You can be like, I think. Yeah. Sure. Good to see ya. All right. For sure, I can do it. You're, it's fine, but I'll, I'll do the driving for sure. All right, Atlanta's coming in or what? You're gonna you're gonna say what's up? People loved your production. Top three. All right, that's amazing. Cool. This oh. looks great. Look at that. Look, Damn. he flexing Guys, chump slam? We have Atlanta hey, chilling with us. He's been doing the production. Guys, give the Atlanta emojis in the chat. I did not move one second. We all love his work and everything he's doing behind the scenes. Hey. Without him, none of this would be possible. He kept whispering in my ear. Sweet nothings, right? Exactly. <laughs> but, well, actually, uh, it's been a good night, honestly. A great night. I'm a little sad. You didn't show off the belts all night, though. Did you should. You had. You whispered in my ear. Tell me. I forgot. Come you know I have short-term like, memory. I was like, mm, no, you should do it. Come you on. You gonna do it? No. Voice it. Voice it in my <laughs> head. You're not in my head for no reason. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That is my fault. No, it's, it's not really. A, it no actually one's, wasn't It's that no hot one's today. fault. It's no one's fault. It wasn't actually that hot today. So like, I'm pretty happy about that. It got cooler. All right. Cool. Let's, let's oh, what's. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Just for a sec. I'm gonna go back with Alex today. Because okay, so, uh, I have to be at 6 a.m. somewhere. So I'm gonna cut out for a little earlier. All right, first, second, first, second, third. First, second, and third. Damn, I see that some hundreds and shit. Damn. Yeah, you're getting paid out. We don't get paid hard. Hey, 70, not bad. 70, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah, dude, you'll be great at a fighting game. Just, just either Street Fighter uh, or Tekken. Which one would? But, but you gotta play one that's played at Madhouse. I play DNF Duel though. It's pretty good. DNF Duel is a good one. Oh really? Dude, nice. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be in um uh, yeah I gotta be somewhere <laughs> yours is awesome too <laughs> why what why oh your new haircut where and then uh so here it's a two-part story right I had a co-worker at work who's like hey should get this type of haircut, right? Some freaking, uh, some Middle Eastern looking dude. Okay. And then, shit you not, she sends it to me. I'm like, okay, whatever, I like it. And then I just see you post on Instagram right right afterwards. And I had that haircut. And I screenshotted it, and I was like, hey. That's the haircut. That's the haircut. Dude, yeah, you always get a fade. Get a zero, and then you get a fade with a little trim on top. It's easy. Yeah. Professional. So so yeah, it was like you, you took it part works. in the in the hairdo. <laughs> Dude, glad to be inspiration, yeah, Julio. Is that crazy? Yeah, I yeah. didn't know wow. it was that deep. I mean, mine did not look as good as yours, but you know. No, you got it down. I don't think I'll ever look as good as Michael. No, you got it down already. <laughs> Come on, you're killing the game. I hope you guys realize that I'm growing out my hair just so I can do. A you mullet. are. You're growing I it out. I want to do a mullet Hardcore. like really badly, dude. Let them sit here, Alex. They want to sign out. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna what? Yeah, Alex. Thanks for keeping the seat warm, Big Chief. Wait, uh, I gotta be all the way on the right side. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, your thing. All right, Do everyone. Thing. Much love, take care, and stay mad. Stay mad. Hey. Show those stay mad emojis in the chat. All right, everybody. Have a good oh. night. <laughs>